Well, I want to be mindful of everyone's time, and I appreciate everyone jumping on the show. I just had a couple, couple questions, a couple thoughts I wanted to get to uh, before I let you guys go. Um, Antonella Cremonese, and thank you, Antonella, for, for checking out the show. Um, she wants to know, in your opinion, who's the most consequential or influential comedian that we have going uh, today? Who are some that you would think or that, that you would think are some of the most consequential or influential out there that are kind of the setting the tone? Chappelle. He's yeah, Chappelle. He's definitely raising the bar and, you know, he, he's, he's taking it to another level, man. Um, you can't even do comedy the same no more without giving people something to think about, some realness. It's like mm. that shucking and jiving comedy, you know, I, I think that's kind of like, as far as stand-up go, like, you know, it's now it's like you really have to, to be on some Dave Chappelle type shit. You know, it's like, you just can't even, you can't even bullshit no more as right. far as just making people laugh. Because Chappelle, done, he done raised the bar so high with being, uh, I don't know if we want to call it uh, conscious, but he's, he's just giving, he giving thought and it's funny and he's talking about real issues and it's, 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 he definitely changed the game right now. So it's like any comic black coming, it's like you're going to look bad if you're not, especially in times like now and you're talking about other shit. It's like, bro, you know, it's a lot of mm -hmm. shit going on. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> you, you sitting up there talking about bullshit and it's like, no, it's, you know, yeah. so it's definitely Chappelle, Chappelle right now. Yeah, yeah I, I agree. It's, it's yeah, Dave agree. Chappelle. Chappelle. He, he not only raises the bar, he raises his own bar mm -hmm. and makes it even harder, you know, just with his, his talent level, man. And, and, and when you look at it, you're looking more at, um, material that's going to be around 20, 30, 40, 50 years from now. Case in point, you can go back to Richard Pryor and you will see a bit about him talking about the cops um, putting blacks in a chokehold. And yeah. that was, I think he did that like 30, 40 years right. ago. And it's, it's so relevant right, now. Right. So, and that's exactly what Dave is doing, man. He's, he's taking it to a whole nother level. And like Dwayne said, you know, that, that thought provoking um, comedy and bringing something that, that's real, um, you know, valuable to the table. Yeah. Dwayne, yeah. any thoughts? I know it seems like you're all in agreement. Any additional thoughts on that? Um, well, i tell you one thing, I'm glad about that, man. I think, I think the, uh, the styles of comedy that black people are doing, the parameters are broadening. Yeah. Just like Marvin was saying, just like Rodney was saying, because now there's other things that black people are, are engaging as performers and hope and hopefully as audiences, you know? You know, because you can if you're saying something nobody wanna hear, that then, you know, it doesn't matter. But I think hopefully also black audiences, black folks, you know, are wanting to hear those type of things too, you know. Um because like I said, the times, it's, it's urgent, man. It's, it's urgent out here, you know? Um, so I, I, I really like that. It, it, it makes me think about something that, that started in New York that's just kind of spreading uh, like a, uh, this aesthetic, this black aesthetic called Afropunk. Have you ever heard of that? But it's like Afro, Afropunk. Mm -hmm. But it's, just, it's the style of, of this, it's like a, it's really a more of a, a, a thought process and a, and a style like, it's, it's black folks who, like if black folks who get everything, they, they, they have the sensibility, they get everything that, as far as an audience, they get everything that white folks get, they understand, and they get everything that black folks get. You know what I mean? So it's this very eclectic and it's, you know, and it's a broad reaching kind of uh, understanding of things. So it's, I, I enjoy it, you know? And that's what I was saying about not just things now, it's not a matter of just being funny, but, but being compelling, you know, and having yeah. some compelling things to say, yeah. Well, you know, 